Hi, my name is Matt Ray. I'm currently a senior principal and customer architect for Chef's APJ based business. I co host the Software Defined podcast. You can find me at Matt Ray on Twitter, GitHub, and way too many Slacks. Today, I'm going to talk to you about applying SLOs to infrastructure and compliance as code. Management teams are focused on reaching their business targets, but operations is the engine that helps the organization achieve their goals. Applications are the interface that customers have with your business. It doesn't matter if you're running a SaaS or a real estate company. Software defines the interactions we have with our users. Developers and operators need to align with the business's goals because they're not just running infrastructure and applications for fun. Above all, services must be reliable and efficient because software defines our relationship with customers. If it's unreliable or hard to use, the business is considered the same. Infrastructure as code is generally used to refer to configuring bare metal, virtual machines, and cloud instances, all the way up through the applications running on the infrastructure. Provision, provisioning is generally considered getting everything ready to run those machines, while configuration management is setting up the operating systems, deploying applications, ensuring the continued enforcement of those policies. Applications generally have their own life cycles outside of infrastructure as code, so they'll have different SLIs and SLOs accordingly. Unless you're a managed service provider, the business probably doesn't care about how machines get into the right state to run those applications. Configuration management is not something most executives really consider. Uh, management teams are focused on reaching their business targets, but operations is the engine that helps the organization achieve those goals. They don't care how it happens, just that it happens. Service level indicators measure our users' happiness with what we're providing. These are direct metrics of performance. Even though our users are internal, we still need to track our good events and our bad events. Infrastructure as code usually tracks to things like change requests or response times, or mean time to recovery in the event of a failure. We need to track both successful and unsuccessful changes as they happen. Sometimes this can provide a window to tracking manual changes, which we really don't want in an infrastructure as code environment. If possible, we want to link our configuration management changes with our monitoring results. They may be correlated to help relate causes of incidences. Chef Infra is an open source infrastructure as code configuration management platform. There are a wide variety of sources for your Chef Infra metrics that may be used for your SLIs. The Chef Infra client has logs and handlers for sending events with details of each run to external systems in addition to the Chef Infra server. The Chef Infra server has logs detailing everything from access controls to API requests. The Chef, Chef Automate is the reporting and monitoring dashboard that rolls up the Chef Infra client and server data with, the not with notifications, rich APIs, and data feeds for accessing any of the configuration management data. Uh, there are many testing tools associated with Chef uh, for determining the quality of the infrastructure code, and you can gather these metrics from your CI/CD pipelines if necessary. The Chef platform is well instrumented for monitoring and metrics, uh, given its central position controlling infrastructure automation. Service level objectives set the thresholds for quality and reliability of your services. SLOs are the targets for SLIs and may be a goal or a range of values. They should specify how they're measured and the conditions under which they're valid. SLOs set explicit thresholds for how reliable your services should be, which provide all the stakeholders within an organization a common language for measuring these goals. Once we start measuring our SLOs, we can determine if our users are happy with our reliability and if we can move faster or slow down uh, as necessary to bring more safety to our systems. Do we need more testing? It's something Chef can provide. So why are audits and security so painful? I've worked with customers who have two, three, even four audits a year just to stay compliant, taking valuable engineers away from getting features to customers. There's a cycle of auditors coming in, giving barely passing audits uh, with ex expected next steps. They get to come back for the next audit and everyone goes right back to what they were doing beforehand. Compliance and security are actually very important, but progress can be hard unless you start measuring for success. From Flexera's 2020 State of the Cloud, we see that year over year, security is top of mind for everyone, closely followed by governance and compliance. It never changes. 
Traditional approaches to security are to have a security review that becomes the gatekeeper for releases. They slow down the release process and make it more expensive for development to catch issues early and make responding to exceptions even harder. Chef Inspec is an open source compliance as code project. It's a Ruby-based DSL that provides simple controls for measure measuring the regulatory and security impact of resources to be audited. It covers operating systems, applications, databases, APIs, cloud platforms, and can be used to scan systems remotely or locally. Inspec makes it easy to test for security and audit coverage, as well as to provide acceptance testing for our infrastructure as code. If we make scanning for continuous compliance part of our software-defined lifecycle, we can shift the audits and compliance scans to the left in our CI-CD pipelines. This helps us move fast and stay compliant without having to count on big bang audits or gating on security reviews. Almost every organization has compliance and audit requirements. It doesn't matter if you're in financial services, government, or just running IT for a small nonprofit. Service level indicators measure our compliance satisfaction. These are direct metrics <clears throat> of compliance. Users, uh, users of these metrics may be internal or external. Failures are very apparent. Uh, we can track our failure rates as well as calculate recovery times in response to violations. Inspect can generate results in many reporting formats that may be sent to external systems. Chef Automate can provide reporting and monitoring dashboards and generate notifications and provide that data through APIs or send it through the raw data feed for accessing any of the compliance data gathered. Inspect makes metrics for SLIs very easy to capture. Uh, audits may be run as frequently as necessary, and you can track successes and failures by the individual controls or through compliance profiles that bundle up those controls, as well as track and <clears throat> as well as track the uh, success and burn down rate of failures. Compliance as code SLOs safeguard the compliance of your infrastructure, and your users likely will not be happy unless your infrastructure is secure. NSPEC provides very explicit metrics for your security and audits, making it easy to calculate our SLOs accordingly. Air budget is determined by understand your, understanding your compliance requirements. Compliance is not always black and white. You may need waivers or exceptions at times. Some organizations are happy as long as they're making progress or at least knowing what their risk posture is. Having unknown compliance levels is unacceptable, while knowing your shortcomings means you can make progress. Compliance and security are top of mind for most enterprises, while properly configured infrastructure underpins this. SLOs for configuration of compliance help focus operations efforts for the business and ensure the reliability and security of these services. Thanks for listening to my talk. Talk to you later. Bye.